Hey everybody, this is part four to the journey to getting Lena on the trailer. This video is going to include some of the supplemental things that we are doing amidst this training, including a couple of the basic obstacles we did before we even brought her to the trailer, and then also some of the maintenance things that are going on. Something I want to talk about that I have learned, and I want you to watch this video before you watch part five, and that is that the body work that we're doing with Lena has been very, very helpful. Um, she's pretty tight in her hind end and had some compression in her withers, which that will affect her ability to one step onto the trailer confidently but two also her ability to balance on the trailer something else we've worked hard to change as well is the angles of her feet so her hind feet um, were pretty negative and I'm not a farrier but they were not balanced and so um, this is not to be angry with somebody's farrier or whatever but the way they were angled was going to make it hard for her to balance and as you see in the videos coming up that the hind end has something to do with this loading thing, but it's not everything. Um, so as we work in these pieces, it really helps everything come together for the greater good of what we are after. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And like I said before, feel free to subscribe to keep following this journey. So this is one of the early obstacles for Lena. We're working on introducing obstacles one at a time this one she's taking really really good again the goal is trailer loading but what we're achieving right here is is the horse even willing to follow our direction the goal you do you can make more challenging and so what i asked melinda to do here in the next round is to rattle the pipe we fly sprayed her face but she's still fussing a little bit um rattle it make it different yeah she's like it's fine I, I'm really not bothered by it <laughs> she's going over it good at the walk so we're gonna try it at the drop still looking for a quality transition in everything that we do oh <laughs> that's all right <laughs> gorgeous. That pipe can be scary. It's rattly, makes noise. Nice. Amidst the preparation for trailer loading, we've been working on getting her feet trimmed. At NSH, we trim her feet every four weeks because we believe in maintaining a balanced foot versus rebalancing a foot continually. She spends time in the Benefab Magnet Blanket, which is great for muscle recovery, and she also had an abscess, so we had to spend some time with her from that. Man. She lives outside in a balanced herd. She has free choice food, and she eats a balanced diet and nutrients. And then we also do some gymnastic lunging, where we work on smooth transitions between walk, trot, and canter, and this keeps her body free, and it keeps us bonding and connecting. And then she also gets regular body work. This body work is very important for keeping her body um, feeling well as it goes through the changes with changing the feet, changing some of the diet, um, the training, the stress of everything. It's not just a spa day massage. It is um, therapeutic touch along with other modalities that this body worker is very familiar with. And so this is an important part of my program because I do believe that if the body isn't in the condition to learn, um, isn't in the condition where it feels well, that it, they're not going to learn well and go home feeling good. So that is a high priority. So while we're doing this trailer training, we are working on these things as well. And all of it together comes into the picture for us to reach the success that we are after. Part four will include the first time I take her to the trailer, so stay tuned. 